Welcome back, beer tubers. Welcome to 2015. Going to kick off this year with should be an excellent beer. I have not had this yet. I've had the bottle a while. Figured out. Let's kick off 2015 with Firestone Walker's 18th anniversary ale. As always, they got a bunch of winemakers up in Paso Robles, or Robles, however you want to call it, to blend this year's anniversary ale. And the winning blend is a uh, is a good one because it's led by Parabola, 38% of the beer. Held the at 16%. That's a new uh, beer they're going to release uh, on its own this year in 2015. Bravo, which is one of my favorites that hopefully will be at some point, 16% as well. Sticky Monkey, which saw released last year at 14%. Velvet Merkin, it's a couple years uh, out now, 5%. Hydra Cuvée, which is a new one. That was, well, sort of a new one. It's it's a blend uh, itself at 4%. Wookie Jack at 3%. Old Leghorn, which uh, is a new beer collaboration with Three Floyds at 2%, and Double Jack at 2%. So you do have some hoppy beers in here, but you also have some really dark beers. So the uh, the finished color is is not completely black. Kind of looks like a porter because it has those ruby red highlights, mahogany notes to it. Uh, the head on there is a little lighter than maybe an Imperial Stout might be kind of light brown into kind of tan color. Definitely some alcohol legs. Let's see, the alcohol on this one's 13%, so it's a huge beer. And uh, this is maybe a little cooler than I like it. Let's get the aroma. Oh yeah. Me would get a lot of coconut and vanilla barrel character oak. Yeah, there's a lot of sweetness in there. Um, sweeter chocolate notes, sweeter dark fruits, particularly raisin stands out to me. Uh, getting kind of that sugary, uh, brown sugar, toffee, caramel notes all in there. Kind of some deeper chocolate notes. This beer does have some age to it, so, uh, I had a little bit of hop character fresh with some of those hoppier beers. You know, nice oak note, not overdone. Some cherry notes, some fig in there. So it's got everything you kind of would expect in a blend like this. So let's dig in. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really good. Ooh, that's a really good blend. Um, first sip, a lot going on, very complex. Um, very nicely balanced with all the flavors. Kind of everything you got on the nose is coming into play in the taste, which is really cool. So up front, you get a lot of sweetness, but overall, it's not a sweet beer. Um, it, it, it does dry out in the finish. But you get that sweet toffee, caramel, um, brown sugar, uh, molasses, like a lighter molasses character, uh, like a honey note, uh, all kind of up front. And then it transitions, you get a lot of that vanilla and coconut kind of midway through as it kind of transitions into this nice chocolate note, more of like a brown, kind of mall brown bready sweetness. A little bit of like a spiciness, which could be left over from some of the hops in the beer. Could be a combination of the oak in there as well. That kind of goes on the finish, it dries out. Uh, spiciness could be coming from the alcohol as well. But um, yeah, the finish has a very slight alcohol character right now. Um, it has a little bit of a warming character, but 13%, it's it's highly drinkable, you know, gr great dessert type of beer. The more I drink it, the more that cherry character comes out, the more the figs start to pop. Um, maybe a little bit of a red grape note in there. Uh, just a ton of complexity. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, you kind of figure this is going to be an awesome beer because the whole series has been. Um, this is, I don't know, uh, it's one of my uh, more recent favorites for sure. Um, is it as good as 15? I don't know. 15 will probably always be my favorite in the series. Or sorry, I should say 14. 14th anniversary. That was the first... Uh, one of the first ones I had just blew me away. So maybe if I had this one first, it'd be my favorite. But I love that it's parabola kind of dominant. And uh, 
Bravos, a Heavenly Promenade, Hell Dorado, Sticky Monkey, those all beers kind of are the nice base of this and everything else kind of adds some nice nuances to the beer and Prowl is always one of my all-time favorite beers so it's I love the Firestone Walker Anniversary blends that tend to be more Parabola dominant. I think 13 was pretty Parabola dominant. I think 14 was uh, up there if not really close so because I, I love how they blend in those other flavors that Parabola doesn't have, but you get that nice, awesome, you know, coconutty, vanilla, chocolatey, fudgy, you know, Parabola note in there. So another amazing beer from Firestone Walker. Looking forward to this year's blend and uh, amongst uh, checking out Hell Dorado on its own for the first time I've had it on a draft. So we'll see how it is in bottles. So it's going to wrap this one up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.